Hi folks, thanks for tuning in to Raffoon LLC. I'm Ron Raffoon, and today, as always, we're talking about pipeline coatings and pipeline protection. Today's topic is a result of a question I got on LinkedIn. Uh, I wanna thank Brian Wilson for posing the question. The question is, what do we do about stripe coating in field joints? And so, for those of you who don't understand what that is, stripe coating is when you put a liquid coating on around the weld seam, and I'll show you in this picture, around the weld seam so that you can fill in voids, have a good uh, base to have the rest of your field joint uh, covered. It gives you much better chance of passing a holiday detection because you've got two coats around the most obscure angles and, and uh, profile on the, the pipe. So, that's what it is, all right? The question is, why is it done? Um, the reason is when you are concerned about the coating thickness on the weld or holidays on the weld. Um, both are, are very commonly related. The causes of those issues are either an applicator, you've just got a guy who's not experienced in getting good coverage, um, the weather, so if you've got you know, really bad weather, really cold weather, stuff might move really terribly and it's hard to apply it. Um, or it's really hot and stuff's kicking off really fast and you have to stop your application in the middle of it and you end up with voids or you know something weird going or it causes the uh, resin to be super runny because it's real hot and so it's not hanging properly. Uh, the other thing could just be how the product is made. You know, some manufacturers have a higher viscosity, others have a lower viscosity, and that plays into a part of whether or not you've got coverage on your first pass. So, stripe coating is basically just for liquid coatings, and, you know, that's, that's why it's done. So, there's two questions that come from that. When is it okay, and when is it bad? When's it okay? So it's okay when you're not concerned about um, what the total mill thickness is on the weld seam. And that might seem ridiculous to you. However, you have to understand that when it comes to measuring dry film thickness, as per SSPC PA2, it clearly says that you don't take DFT readings on a weld seam or even within one inch of a weld seam. So if you are in a situation where adding more mills is not going to be detrimental, by all means, I say stripe coat it. Um, but again, you only want to stripe coat it if you can apply your field joint coating during the recoat window after you've stripe coated it. So make sure that you set up your timing so that you're putting your stripe coat on, it has enough time to set up and get tacky, and then you can apply your final coat so you have a good, even coverage. Um, so, you know, that's, that's basically it. It's almost always okay under those circumstances. So when is it bad? It's bad, basically in the opposite, when thickness is detrimental. And the reason thickness for liquid coatings becomes detrimental is because the thicker a coating is, the more brittle it is, which means it's more prone to cracking or breaking from impact or flexion. flexion. Um, and so, you get impact reflection when you are doing horizontal directional drills and you don't want to have thick coatings over the weld seam because if it hits something it's going to chip. Um, you don't want to use super thick coatings when you've got very poor backfill going on top, top of the pipe because the impacts will mess up the coating and you could be creating voids where you were trying to prevent them using the stripe coat. Um, or if you've got spooled pipe, where you're reeling the, the pipe up, like at a spool base, um, you know, that's going to have a really steep turn in it, and a thicker coating doesn't bend well. So you end up um, with all kinds of issues because you did the stripe coat. So think about what the conditions are. The conditions are, it's just a regular dugout right away. You're only moving it 10 feet into a hole. It's not going to have a big swooping turn going in, 
and you have select backfill going in that's going to be good for it, by all means, if you feel like you need to be stripe coating, do it. It's not bad in those circumstances. In fact, it's very positive in those circumstances. If it's one of the other ones, you need to come up with a different solution. And for each one of those that I mentioned, there are different solutions. Uh, those things are things that I'd be happy to talk to you about. My contact information is down below. If you've got questions about what those are, please hit me up. In the meantime, if you haven't watched all my videos, please do. I'd love to have you like and subscribe to my channel, and I will continue posting these. Uh, if you've got more ideas, please ask the question. I'm happy to answer for you, just as I did today for Brian Wilson. Thanks, Brian. Uh, have a good day.